Hi guys, welcome back to another Skyrim console mod video for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Today we have around 10 mods to look at over two videos. This is the second upload, so if you haven't done so yet, check out the first video from earlier today. Before we jump into this, many of you have been asking me about paid mods and how it's going to affect my videos. And the short answer is it won't, or at least I don't think so, because free mods will still be available like they are now. Paid mods though, because the amount of effort going into them, they must go through the same testing as any Bethesda official deal. DLC would, I would expect paid mods to be a certain size, I would think. I mean, seems like a lot of effort to go through just to add some battles into White Run or something. So I would expect the mods you pay for to be a certain size and quality. Well, hopefully anyway. But then it comes down to cost. Of course, YouTube is my full-time job and I don't make too much money from Skyrim. Well, not since Adpocalypse anyway. And so the cost to buy mods is probably going to be more than what I actually earn from making the video. So when I rely on my income to pay bills and stuff, then that's kind of a problem. So the only way I was thinking I could do it is if people People support me on Patreon to cover the cost of paid mods, then Patreon members will get access to those videos for paid mods, or at least get them first anyway. I mean, if someone has a better idea, please let me know, but that's the only way I can think of that will work out that's kind of affordable. So I guess we will just have to see what happens when paid mods comes out, but let me know what you think of that in the comments. Anyway, let's just jump into our first mod. Our first mod is a PS4 mod called Shax's Useless Helpful mod. The mod is simple and adds the ability to gain XP from the following stuff. All cooking pots and cooking spits, smelters and the tanning rack. The mod also adds in a few things as well that you can craft, ivory crafting, dwemer figurine crafting and wooden figurine crafting as well. More will be added over time to this mod. Our next mod is for Xbox One and it's called Valerian Skyforge Steel. The mod revamps the Skyforge weaponry to improve them. For features, the mod adds a water ripple effect to the Skyforge weapons, resembling Valerian and Damascus Steel. Boost the stats of Skyforge weapons to ebony stats so they're no longer useless. Add the Skyforge Warhammer and Mace for purchase from Erland after the companions have been joined. Uses Lean Wolf's better shaped weapon meshes for the weapons. After all, weapons look better once Lean Wolf gets his hands on them. Well, I think so anyway. There is also a hidden feature in there, and the hint is a hot knife is to butter, as Valyrian steel is too, and that's all the clues that you get, so I'm not going to spoil that for you guys. Overall, a very nice and useful mod, making Skyforge steel items worth your time and effort to make now and they definitely look cool in the game. Next up is a mod for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One called Snowville Sanctum Accessible. You will now be able to pick the lock on the door at Snowville Sanctum. It's a master lock so you have to come prepared and this will allow you to reach the disarm word wall that was previously quest locked. A new enemy simply known as the Nightingale waits for you at the end of the dungeon. He holds the full Nightingale equipment, Chill Rand, the Amulet of Articulation, the Skeleton Key and the Eyes of the Falmer. He's extremely powerful and only gets stronger as you level up so be very careful. Brynjolf is now killable for those who are sick of him constantly offering jobs as well. Be warned though, this mod will break the Thieves Guild questline, so make sure you want to skip it before you actually install this mod, or at least make a backup save. But if you're okay with that, then this mod is definitely worth checking out. Our next mod is for Xbox One and it's called Master Cat Reborn. Master Cat can be found on the Create Character screen and you have to create a new game for the mod to work. Mix and match colors from skin and dirt with everything in between for both male and female characters. There's a box in your Riverwood water wheel where you can meet Girder for the first time. In this box contains everything a Master Cat needs. Also it comes with extra gear for followers so they can look good too. Players can of course play with more than one follower so there's extra stuff added for more followers as well. The box contains Master Master bows, master jewels, and master gear for you. Now the mod has a big warning and it says only install if you start a new game, which I completely ignored and installed and I changed my race in the cheat room so I didn't have any issues but I guess the warning is there for a reason. I'm not sure what that reason is but just be careful if you do install this one. For skills your new Khajiit race is good at destruction, restoration, one handed, block and archery. Would like to have the sneak skill rather than block but overall I still really like this mod. Our final mod is called Vampire Armor Compilation. The mod adds a lot of vampire armor mashups to Skyrim. They can be crafted at both steel and steel plate categories in the Forge in-game and can also be found on new vampires around the game like you can see me fighting in the video. Currently the mod makes vampire armors from the following materials. Daedric Vampire Armor, Glass Vampire Armor, Dragon Scale Vampire Armor, Elven Vampire Armor, Custom Textured Vampire Armor, Cold Harbor Armor, Steel and Steel Plate Armor, and the Ebony Vampire Armors. In terms of stats, they are just the same as their vanilla counterparts. They can all be enchanted and refined as well if you want to. 
So very cool mod. At the end of the last video, we had a mod for Vampire Hunters. This one will help out any Vampire characters in game, just giving them more options for their armor. Well guys, that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and comment. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe for more similar Skyrim content on my channel. I have hundreds of videos that are exactly like this one. But with that being said, Dragonborn, stay awesome, and I will see you all in the next video.